Book One The Bard Slowly Opens The Sacred Story of the Tree of Life The Self Created No stars were there No sun Neither moon nor earth Nothing existed but darkness itself, a darkness everywhere. Nothing existed but nothingness, a nothingness neither hot nor cold, dead nor alive, a nothingness far worse than nothing and frightening in its utter nothingness. For how long this nothingness lasted, no one will ever know. And why there was nothing but nothing is something, we must never try to learn. Nothingness had been floating for no one knows how long. Upon the invisible waters of time, that mighty river with neither source nor mouth, which was, which is, and ever shall be. Then one day, or is it right to say one day? The river time desired nothingness, like a flesh and blood male beast desires his female partner. And as a result of this strangest mating of time and nothingness, a most tiny nigh invisible spark of living fire was born. This tiny, so tiny spark of fire could think and grew conscious of its lonely state. No one, no nothing could hear its cries in the lonely depths of utter nothingness. Like forlorn a babe, lost and in despair, in a cold dark forest. I exist, I am what I am was the living thought that pulsed through the mind of the tiny spark as it wildly flew through the dark, trying to flee from where there was no escape, trying to evade the lifeless, empty, dark and utter nothingness. It was like a tiny firefly, lost in a dark cave, Netherberg, from where it could never escape. I must either grow or end my life, thought the spark at long, long last. If nothingness wishes to engulf me in my present size and state, then I must increase my size till I equal that of nothingness. There was nothing for the spark to feed upon and grow. So it fed upon itself and grew in size until at last its mother nothingness became aware of its unwelcome presence and decided to destroy it. Nothingness at first had tried to smother it in darkness which is the enemy of light. But the spark resisted brighter and became yet brighter. Then nothingness cast a spell of cold upon the spark. Cold, a deadly foe of heat. But this induced the spark to grow only hotter and yet more hot. The living spark did grow and grew until at last it equaled nothingness in size, 
and to sustain itself proceed with growth it devoured its mother nothingness and digested her with the most awful flash of light that anyone or anything had ever chanced to see i am what i am it boasted but river time was very cross with what the spark had done and quickly sent the spirit cold to fight the spark outright a mighty battle soon ensued in which the spark now a universal roaring flame which filled the sky with so many soaring tongues tried to melt cold spirit and devour it complete while cold its icy spirit blew its cold wet breath into the flame but it only turned a portion of the flame into cold white ash and this ferocious battle which started so long ago today still rages unbating and shall yet proceed till time shall cease to flow and the wise men of the tribes relate that if the flame one day shall win all that exists shall perish in one consuming fire while if victory goes to the spirit of cold all living things shall freeze to death may the great spirit who is lord and almighty and paramount chief of all grant neither flame nor cold shall ever win the war because whosoever beats the other the sun the moon the earth and the stars and all that live shall cease to be may both antagonists fight forth for everlasting time because on their unceasing conflict all life depends